Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to crochet an eight point star tree topper. It has a diameter of about 10 inches and is about 13 inches tall. I am going to crochet using this cotton thread size 10 and the hook that is almost two millimeters. We'll start here in the center with chain 10, which we'll enclose to make a ring. And in that circle, we'll make eight groups of three double crochet stitches separated by chain three. So I'll start with chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A slip stitch in the first chain. Chain three instead of the first double crochet and including this end of the thread. In my work, I'm going to start making double crochet stitches. One, two so now we have three chain three three double crochet stitches one two three chain three three double crochet stitches one two three, chain three, and so on. Continue working until you make eight groups of three double crochets. At the end of the round, after chain three, make a slip stitch in the third beginning chain. We are going to start almost every round with chain three and end each round in the third beginning chain. In the second round, we are going to continue making three double crochets and between those groups, we'll make chain two, a double crochet, chain two. So chain three, a double crochet, and a double crochet, three double crochets, chain two, a double crochet in the second chain, chain two, three double crochets, one, two, three, chain two, a double crochet in the middle chain of three, chain two, and continue working like this all the way around. In round three, we'll continue doing the same, three double crochets and one double crochet between, but we'll be making chain three before and after this double crochet. So chain three, a double crochet, a double crochet, chain three, a double crochet in the double crochet, chain three, three double crochets, chain three, a double crochet in the double crochet, chain three, and continue this pattern, please. In round four, Instead of three double crochets, we'll be making six with chain three between them. And here, once again, we'll be making 
chain two, a double crochet, chain two. This time we won't start with chain three right away. We'll start with a slip stitch because we need to find ourselves here in the middle of this group. Now we are making chain three and the two double crochets in the next double crochet like this chain two a double crochet chain two in the next group of three we are making two double crochets in the first one one double crochet in the middle one chain three one double crochet in the same middle double crochet and two double crochets in the last of three now we have two groups of three chain two a double crochet chain two two double crochets in the first of three one in the next chain three one double crochet in the same stitch and two in the last one and continue working this way at the end of this round, after you made this double crochet and chain two, make two double crochets in this first double crochet of three. One, two, and one double crochet in the stitch where we started this chain three. now chain three and a slip stitch in the third chain like this in round five we'll continue making those groups of three double crochets that we just started and between them we'll make chain four a double crochet chain four on the other side We'll just make three double crochets and three double crochets with nothing between them. So chain three, a double crochet, and a double crochet. We are not doing anything here in between. We'll continue with three double crochets. One, two, three chain four a double crochet here in the middle chain one two three four three double crochets one two three and three more right away one, two, three, chain four, here in the second chain, a double crochet, chain four, and continue with the six double crochets. In round six, in that double crochet that we just made, we'll be making three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets with chain five around. And here on this side, instead of six double crochets, we'll be making three. We will start with those three double crochets. So chain three, and the first double crochet as usual. 
Now the third double crochet, you start, but you don't finish it. And the fourth, the same way. And now we'll crochet them all together. Now we have two double crochets left. We'll start the fifth one and the sixth one. And we'll work them together. This way we have three stitches here on top. Now one, two, three, four, five. In this double crochet, three double crochets, one, two, three, chain three, three double crochets in the same stitch. chain five start the first double crochet do not finish it start the second one work them together and repeat the same twice two double crochets together and uh, two more double crochets Finish together, chain five. In the double crochet, three double crochets. Chain three. And uh, three more double crochets in the same space. chain five and continue with three double crochets instead of six in uh, round seven we'll continue making those three double crochets and between them we'll make chain seven seven double crochets in chain three from the previous round and chain seven again so three double crochets the first of course is chain three chain seven seven double crochets here between groups of three and three double crochets two three four five six seven chain seven three double crochets one two three chain seven seven double crochets three four five six seven chain seven and then three double crochets and so on and now round eight the last round we are going to make we'll continue making three double crochet stitches here then chain five a double crochet in each double crochet of the previous round with chain one between them so chain three a double crochet and a double crochet 
chain five. In each of the seven double crochets, we are making a double crochet, chain one, 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 a double crochet, chain one a double crochet chain one and the last the seventh double crochet chain five three double crochets one two three chain five Seven double crochets, one, two, with chains between them, three, four, five, six, seven, chain five and three double crochets like this now we are going to separate our work into eight parts and finish each point of uh, the star separately we are going to do something similar to what we did here in round four instead of three double crochets we'll be making six and between those groups of double crochets, we'll start this uh, pineapple design with chain three and single crochets. So like we did in round four, we'll start not with chain three, but with a slip stitch. Now we'll make chain three and uh, two double crochets in the next double crochet now we have three double crochets chain three a single crochet in the first space between the double crochets chain three a single crochet between the next two double crochets chain three a single crochet 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 we have made six single crochets in this row chain three two double crochets in the first double crochet one in the next one chain three and we'll continue our work on the other side we'll make two double crochets one two chain three a single crochet 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 so we have made five single crochets here chain three and uh, three double crochets one two and the third one will always go in the third chain that we made at the beginning of the previous round chain three we'll turn work over make two double crochets 
and this time just four single crochets chain three will always keep the first chain and the last chain chain three a single crochet chain three a single crochet chain three a single crochet chain three and uh, three double one two and uh, three chain three turn work over again two double crochets one two chain three this time we'll have three single crochets one two three chain three and uh, three double crochets one two three chain three again the other side two double crochets chain three we have two single crochets left here this is the second chain three three double crochets chain three now we have only one single crochet left the last one so chain three a single crochet chain three three double chain three and now the last row here we are just making six double crochets three here and uh, three here six and now the last thing to do we are making chain seven And uh, on the other side, we'll make a slip stitch in the third chain. That's it. Uh, we can cut off the thread. Now, on the other side, because this is the front side of our work, we'll begin the next point. We'll insert the hook here in the second double crochet, make chain three and uh, two double crochets in the next double crochet, chain three. A single crochet chain three, 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 a single crochet, six of them, and um, chain three two double crochets in the first double crochet of these three 
and one here in the middle. And now chain three, turn work over and continue working like we did together here. Please finish all the eight points of this star on your own and then make another star exactly like this. When you get to the last point of the second star, do not cut off the thread. I will show how to make the border. Now when both parts are ready, cut off the ends of the threads only here in the middle if uh, you worked them in earlier and leave all the other threads. We are going to hide them as we go. Put both stars together so that the reverse sides would be inside. Find where you finished your work. It will be here. And we'll start making the border. We'll start with this point. In this two chain seven, we are going to make five single crochet stitches, four, five, chain three for a little pico, and uh, five single crochet stitches more, two, three, four, five. Now we have a nice point here. And on the sides, we are going to make three single crochet stitches in each side of each double crochet stitch here, including this thread in our work. So I'm making one, two, three crochets, three in the next one, two, three, another group of three, one, two, three, three more here, we don't have to include this thread anymore, we'll just cut off the end, and um, three here, one, two, three, and uh, three more, one, two, three. We are almost here where two points connect in the last double crochet, where we are going to make just two single crochets, one, two. Now check to see if um, there is any thread hiding here, not here, so I don't need to do anything about them. And I'll continue on the other point of the star. Once again, I'll just make two single crochet stitches here in the first double crochet. Then we'll continue with three single crochets in each double crochet. When you get to the next point, do not forget to include all these threads in your work and make five single crochets, chain three, five single crochets, then three single crochets everywhere except for these two double crochets. Here you'll make two single crochets and um, you'll also have these two ends of thread hiding here. Do not forget to find them and include them in your work and continue working like this until you come almost to the end you will need to make a little opening for the holder. I'll show how to do it when we get there. Well, now I am almost at the end of the border. 
I have just one side left and I have one double crochet left here. This is where we are going to separate work and in this double crochet we'll make one, two, three single crochets, not two as usual, and also three crochets here on this side. Now let's put the work back together, find all those threads and start working as usual, making one, two, three single crochets, one, two, three single crochets, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and the last three, one, two, and three. Make a slip stitch in the first single crochet that we made here. And you can cut off the thread and any uh, loose ends of the thread that you might still have. And here we have a nice little opening uh, for the holder. Now we'll need to make a holder or a stand for the star. We'll start with a circle made of chain 48 in which we'll make 48 double crochet stitches. So we'll make chain 48, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 1, 2, 3. Now we'll make a circle with a slip stitch in the first chain, like this. We are going to include this end of thread in our work to make cleanup process easier. Uh, chain three is the first double crochet and now a double crochet in each chain. So now we have two, three, four and so on. Continue making double crochets until you make 48. Now we are going to alternate groups of three double crochets and one double crochet with chain three between them. And the first six rounds are going to be identical, not counting this base round. We'll start with chain three instead of the first double crochet and we'll make two more. This is our first group of three. Now chain three, but we'll skip only two stitches here and we'll make a double crochet. Chain three, skip two stitches, make three double crochets. chain three, skipping two 
making a double crochet chain three skip two three double crochets chain three one double crochet chain three three double crochets chain three one double chain three three double crochets chain three one chain three three chain three one and the chain three and the slip stitch in the third beginning chain now we're beginning to make the second round like this chain three a double crochet a double crochet chain three a double crochet in a double crochet chain three three double crochets chain three one double and continue working like this please make six rounds like this now we are going to start reducing the number of chains here in the next two rounds we'll be making two chains in the following two rounds one chain and in the two rounds after that no chains at all so let's start round seven three double crochets chain two a double crochet chain two three double crochets chain two one double crochet chain two and so on as I said, we'll need two rounds with chain two, two rounds with chain one, and two rounds with no chains at all. Finish all these six rounds. You'll have 12 all together at the end, and then I'll show how to continue. This is what it looks like after all 12 rounds. I finished not counting this first base round. And now we are going to decrease the number of double crochet stitches. We'll uh, make three double crochets. And we'll skip one. We'll make three double crochets and skip one. We'll continue with three double crochets, skipping one, and then we'll need to make another round like this. So now I have finished these two rounds. All together I have 14 plus this one. And now we are going to uh, make the uh, last two rounds. We'll start with chain three. We'll skip one double crochet. We'll make a double crochet in the next one and one more double crochet. 
Now we are going to skip one again. We'll make two. Skip one, make two. At the end of this round, you'll need to make just one double crochet and a slip stitch. And after that, please make another round like this and our holder will be ready. Now, when everything is uh, crocheted, we need to starch it to give it good shape. Uh, in my channel, I have a video about how to starch crocheted things. Please watch it if you need to. You will also need to find something to shape your work on. Uh, for example, for the holder, I am using this uh, plastic glass. Uh, you might want to find something similar or um, maybe make a shape using Play-Doh or clay. I use clay quite a lot. And for the star itself, you will need eight rubber balloons, preferably white or in light color so that the color would not leak. After you make a starch solution, soak uh, the stand and the star there for a few minutes, then uh, take it out, wring it out well, put the stand on the prepared form and insert the balloons into the tips of the star uh, on the reverse side. Then inflate the balloons and fix them with clips. This way it is easier to regulate how inflated they are. Hang it to dry for about 24 hours, checking from time to time to see if uh, any of the balloons need to be inflated uh, a little more or less. And uh, when everything is dry, find this opening that we left in the star, insert the holder there, and use a glue gun uh, or just a needle and thread to connect it all. This is it for today. I hope you liked the video and the star that we made together. If so, please push the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, but want to be informed of all the new developments, consider subscribing and pushing the bell button. Thanks for watching. Until the next video. Bye-bye.